Hey everybody, so I just got in this package today for the uh, Thingomatic from BuildTac. Let's pop it open and see what's inside. I was told by Kayla that it's uh, something really cute, so let's find out. So first of all, huge shout out to Kayla over at BuildTac who saw that I had the Thingomatic and I'd mentioned that I'd love to get a flex plate system for it. She goes, I'll see what I can do. About a month later, shoots me an email a couple days ago saying, hey, um, we have a little package we're gonna send you away. I'm like, ooh, package, cool. All I'm told is, sorry, I can't see any photos of it yet, so it would be a surprise. And also, it was, quote, really tiny and cute. So I have no clue what's in here, but I'm assuming it's something for this because this doesn't look like it would fit the Ultimaker. Let's pop it open. Whoever you are, I really don't care who's calling. Okay, so, oh, crap. So, first of all, we have stickers oh my oh wow oh sweet one of them is white and one of them is black that is that is awesome huge thanks guys okay what else do we have here bubble wrap Ooh, oh how cute it's a dinky little piece of belt tack wait a minute oh gosh it fits the bed Oh, this is awesome. So we have a tiny piece of build tack that fits the bed. And then we have the side bubble wrap. Oh, sweet. The little uh, micro flex plate complete with um, magnets inside. I'm assuming, oh yeah, this goes on the base, my bad. Then. I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Kayla, if you're watching, sorry, I'm like still a little confused, figuring it all out. Awesome, okay, here we go. We have the build tack sheet that goes on to the flexi steel plate. And then we have the magnet base, which sticks to it. Oh, oh, this is, this is awesome. Huge, huge, huge thank you guys. You're, this is, this is totally cool. So the way it's gonna work is I'm going to take off a piece of Gerolite of LE which, LE, which is on here, which I don't need. Then I'm going to clean off the bed, stick down the magnet base, and then stick the build tack onto this little guy. And we will have ourselves a flex plate for the Thingomatic. Oh my gosh. You guys seriously don't know how like excited I am about this. This is, this is amazing. So I'm gonna reset the camera and we're gonna go jump to the Thingomatic and put this bad boy on there. All right, so I got my piece of Gearlite LED off the bed and I'm just going to wipe it down with a little bit of acetone, just in case there is any residue left over from the double stick tape that I was using on the air light. Get this guy nice and clean. Awesome. So excited. Okay, let me just Dry it off. All right. Put the cap back on. Okay, so on the back of the flex plate is this. Pretty much it says pull, remove, clear liner before adhering to build plate. So pretty much I'm just gonna make sure that, yes, this fits. 
I'm going to spin it 180 degrees just so you can, I can see what it says on there. And go ahead and stick this down. So I'm peeling the protective liner off. And let's hope I don't screw this up. Oh, that went down perfect. Oh yeah. One thing that you'll notice that's really nice is they have um, little notches here around the edge so that way you can get underneath and peel the bed up. Now we can check it with the bed. Oh yeah. That guy is stuck. Oh man, this is awesome. So bear with the camera angle guys. Sorry if this was kind of lower quality than my normal videos. I was just trying to cram this in before I had to run off to the orthodontist appointment that I have in about half hour, 45 minutes. But huge, huge, huge thank you to Kayla and everybody over at BuildTac for Putting this together for me, this seriously is awesome. I am super thankful, and now i got a really good excuse to get my E3D V6 on order and also work on that machined extruder project so I can get the thing matic back up and running. Oh, man, this is, this is awesome. So if you guys aren't subscribed already to the channel, I highly recommend that you do, strictly because... Hopefully, I'm going to be having a lot more updates coming in soon, and I'll be able to get this thing back up and running, hopefully do some time lapses on it, all kinds of good stuff like that. So make sure you're subscribed, follow me on social media if you have it, links to that are down in the description, and I will see you guys next time with another update on the Thingomatic or just other random projects on Make It With Calvin. See you guys soon.